I'll tell you a little story. You may know it already, but if you don't, I think it's an interesting one. It's particularly uh, pertinent to the news that Arsenal are interested in signing Lucas Paqueta from West Ham. This is not a new story. This is a continuation of an old story, but that doesn't mean it isn't valid. I think my point is, whoever's gone with this story is not just plucking this out of thin air. They're, they're really not. There is a genuine interest from Arsenal in the player. How do I know this? Well, there's a very good reason we know this. And that is because the, the agent that got the deal over the line to allow and to facilitate Lucas Paqueta to join West Ham United was Barry Silkman. Barry's, Barry's been on this channel on a few occasions, so we know Barry. Now, Barry, um, well, let's, let's actually, let's rewind a little bit further back. Rob Newman highlighted Lucas Paqueta, and I think David Moyes had pretty much liked what he'd seen when West Ham played Olympic Lyonnais in the, uh, in the Europos Kapos last year. Now, when they decided that, that, that perhaps this was the guy they wanted to get, he wasn't the first choice. This, this, this much is clear. Lucas Paqueta wasn't the first choice. And actually, the first choice was Anana because they were getting him as more of a, a sort of more robust central midfield player because they thought they were getting Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard was going to be the number 10. Anana was going to be that played the number eight role, if you like. Um, however, however, that didn't happen. We didn't get Jesse Lingard or Anana. And because obviously Everton were willing to pay more money than us and he went elsewhere. The second choice, the second choice was actually Nunes, the guy that ended up going to Wolves. We, we had a deal agreed. He didn't want to go. They wanted to go to Wolves. They got lots of Portuguese players there. So actually, Paqueta was the third choice. doesn't matter that he was the third choice, but uh, he was certainly a player that, that David Moyes and Rob Newman had agreed they wanted to get in. But this was really what I'm talking about last summer now. This was Rob Newman and David Moyes' first sort of um, official transfer window as a couple. And they were struggling to get the deal over the line for Paqueta. It had stalled. It, it had gone on. wasn't going any further. And what had happened was quite late in the day, uh, agent Barry Silkman uh, was basically parachuted, not, not, not actually parachuted in, metaphorically speaking, parachuted in to get the deal over the line. Now, we know this because, well, who hasn't? Every, look, many people have spoken to Barry, but we know this to be the case. You may well remember from all the articles that were doing the rounds at the time was Barry Silkman stood in Lucas Paqueta's kitchen with his arm round him and, and the, the contract and all the stuff. That's how it was done. Silkman had to go in there and persuade him to sign for West Ham. Um, that basically, I think reading between the lines, Moyes and Rob Newman couldn't get the deal over the line. Now, one thing we do know was that Paqueta was reticent to join West Ham, not because of anything to do with West Ham, actually, it was because Arsenal had declared their interest. Arsenal wanted Lucas Paqueta. The thing was, they didn't have the money at the time. They wanted to wait until next summer, basically, their, their next big transfer window at the end of this season. They wanted to wait until then, then do the deal for Olympic Lyonnais. And I think at the time, nobody... Oh, you know what? Maybe you did. If you wrote in the comments, you thought that Arsenal were going to win the league this season, which they probably will. I think so. Anyway, it looks that way, doesn't it? Um, then, then fair play. But I think most people thought, well, Arsenal are going to be challengers for the top four spot and, you know, a Champions League spot sort of thing. That's obviously still going to be alluring, still going to be attractive. But now, even more so, you look at it and I wouldn't blame Lucas Paqueta for thinking, oh, well, I, I wish I was in that team. And, and you know what? I mean, well, football aside, it's just... <laughs> They're higher up in the league than us. Um, but there was an element of persuasion. Uh, as I remember it, uh, Barry said that there was um, there was a conversation about him coming to West Ham, um, about maybe about how West Ham had been a really good club for Dimitri Payet to move to. Paqueta was, of course, completely aware of Payet. I think there was a little bit of schmoozing went on. It's important to schmooze, I think, if you're an agent. Got to have a bit of schmooze, a bit of schmooze factor. I think it was suggested that, hey, you know, come to West Ham. It really works out for Payet. Uh, you can really make your name here. If you do well, then, um, then the, the world's your oyster, basically. I think that was digging. Anyway, the rest, the rest is history. Paqueta signs for West Ham. And as, as I say, you'll have all seen the picture of him stood. Uh, I, think, I think it was his kitchen. Anyway, it was very grand and very palatial, as you would expect. Um, but I, I, he was stood there with Barry Silkman, got the deal over the line, came to West Ham. So when these stories surface now, I do not believe that they're, re they're old stories resurfacing. When we hear that Arsenal are interested in Lucas Paqueta, you can absolutely believe it because this was always the plan anyway. And let's just suspect, let's just, just 
let's say that Lucas Paqueta cost 45 million. Uh, it, the, the rumors are all different. Certain amounts up front. How was the deal ratcheted? I think if he, if West Ham were to qualify for Europe again and West Ham win the Conference League and, and so on, and Paqueta scores 10 goals or whatever, and anyway, it costs 55 million. But let's say that, that the, the original agreement was for 45. Um, then that's what Arsenal would have paid. So actually for Arsenal to buy him from West Ham, that's not going to be a prohibitive amount for Arsenal to buy a player for. So what's actually changed for Arsenal? Bearing in mind they didn't have the money to buy him last summer because obviously they'd splashed out, hadn't they? They'd splashed out on Zinchenko, they'd splashed out on Jesus, other players as well. I know they had a little emergency sneaky one for Trossard when he became available uh, from Brighton. But the interest is still there. Paqueta really likes Arsenal. And Mikel Arteta really likes Paqueta to make a little rhyme. So what's the difference? The fact that he's at West Ham, is that going to be prohibitive? I don't think so. If West Ham, let's be fair, I like that there's been snippets, there's been sprinklings. I like what I've seen, but I would not suggest for a moment that uh, Paqueta is a David Moyes type signing. In fact, I think it possibly suggest that it hasn't worked out. But forget whether I think it's worked out and forget whether you think it's worked out. Do we think Paqueta thinks it's worked out? Then you'd have to say, you'd probably think, well, no. I mean, it's, it's an open secret that a lot of the players, uh, particularly the foreign ones, are not happy with West Ham at the moment, not particularly happy with the tactics being played. And you can imagine, you can imagine the sort of conversations that were had to entice Paqueta to West Ham. As I said, we've already discussed what the, what the final um, input might have been from Barry Silk, Silkman in terms of the contract, in terms of what he could do as a player. It's, it's worth remembering... Silkman used to be a player at Manchester City. Silkman is going to have a lot of a lot of credit in the bank with a lot of these Brazilian players because he was Roberto Carlos's agent. So you can imagine that. But what was David Moyes promising? What was Rob Newman promising? You can sort of imagine the type of thing. Because David Moyes was saying this stuff at the start of the season. David Moyes was saying we're going to play a more expansive game of football. We need to change the style we play. We want to become more attack-based. He was saying all these things. So if he's saying it, excuse me, if he's saying it to the press... And he's saying it to basically anybody that want to listen. You have to assume that he was saying it to the players at that time. So is, he, is David Moyes going to say that stuff to a player that wants to join West Ham? Of course he is. You can imagine the stuff. We'll build the team around you. We're going to play an attractive, attractive game of football. You're just the guy we need. Look at Jesse Lingard. He did really well over here. I bet there was a load of stuff that was said. I think if I was going to summarise, it would probably be that Lucas Paqueta was probably going to give the impression that West Ham were going to not only play better than we have this season and play in a more attractive way that we would perform at a higher level, that we wouldn't be down at the bottom of the Premier League. Now, of course, Arsenal were interested in Declan Rice. We're not only are Arsenal interested in Declan Rice, it is rumoured, and I don't know, it is just a rumour, that the deal has already been agreed between Rice and the club in terms of wages. Rice already knows what Arsenal are going to play him. West Ham don't know what Arsenal are going to play West Ham, but that's his chosen destination uh, to the point where he is a, they are a massive favourite to sign him. Um, which makes you assume that uh, probably the bookies know what, uh, what the rumours are. And, and that's that, really. So Arsenal are interested in Lucas Paqueta and Declan Rice. And you start to appreciate that that might become quite attractive to them. That this is not going to be an unattractive thing for either Paqueta or for Declan Rice. And I certainly, if I was asked, I wouldn't be put off by anything that West Ham might do. And you get sort of muddy the waters if you start bringing relegation into the conversation at all, because, you know, I just want to, you know, put this video up and, and have a chat about it, really. But, but, you do look at it and you think, well, hold on a second. All this talk about Declan Rice for Arsenal, all this talk about Declan Rice being a £100 million player, if the rumours I'm hearing are correct, it could well be that Arsenal offer West Ham £120 million for Declan Rice and Lucas Paqueta.